was a song that would be the theme for the upcoming season for every HBCU, what would it be? What song would it be? I have been thinking about making this video for the past two years, and finally I am making it. Well, it's made because you're watching it. So, this is part one, and this video will consist of South Carolina State, North Carolina Central, Jackson State, Grambling, FAMU, Morgan State, and Southern. I'll be doing all HBCUs, by the way. Word to the wise before we get started, all right? I know y'all aren't going to agree with me, especially on everything. Um, and that's fine. If you have a different opinion, let that be known down in the comment section. I fully anticipate y'all to come into the comment section saying, nah, it should have been this song. It should have been that song. And, I, you know, I get it, okay? I don't, as long as you're respectful, I really don't care. Last thing, if you are not a fan of explicit rap music, it's not gonna be played on this video for obvious reasons, copyright. I'm gonna talk about it. But if you are not a fan of explicit rap music and you go to look these songs up, please, disclaimer, please put the clean version in the search bar. Otherwise, I'm not held responsible for you being disgusted, uh, just upset by what you hear. I'm just saying. So first we got South Carolina State with Last Time I Checked by Nipsey Hussle. The reason why I chose this song is because Last time we checked, we got the most MEAC championships out of everybody still left in the MEAC. Last time we checked, we won a celebration bowl just two years prior. Last time we checked, we got the most active NFL players in the NFL from any HBCU. So as far as we're concerned, the disrespect, we don't even know where that's coming from. We don't know why everybody is so hung up on last season. Yes, it was a bad year for us. Of course, I will never deny that. But trust me, you won't see that again. Because last time we checked, we've been doing this. Next up, we got North Carolina Central with Raise Up by P.D. Pablo. For obvious reasons, I chose this song, right? Number one, P.D. Pablo, North Carolina Raise Up. That's been, that's been y'all anthem for years. But I mean, there's like a double play here because y'all are the Eagles Raise Up. I mean, it, it really goes hand in hand. But the reason, the main reason why I chose this song is because, I mean, y'all are floating high right now. Y'all are flying high right now. I mean, you're looking, you, it looks promising for you guys to return to Atlanta at the end of the season, especially if you can stay focused throughout the gauntlet that the MEAC is. Right now, you have nothing to worry about. You guys are flying high. Spirits are great. You don't give any signs of being distracted or coming off of a championship hangover. Um, everything's great right now. It's just a lot of pride in Durham right now. So that's this is why Raise Up is the song for you. Next up, we got Jackson State with Many Men by 50 Cent. And if you ask me, y'all can I know y'all can come with other songs that you think fits, but to me, this fits perfectly. What other song could fit more perfectly than Many Men by 50 Cent for y'all's upcoming season? Many men want to see y'all lose. Many men want to see that program go under now that Dion is gone. Many men want to see the downfall of that JSU block, okay? And many men do. That's why this fits so well, okay? But it also I also picked the song because y'all know this, right? And you're, you're embracing it. You're ready for it. When Jackson State came to mind, <laughs> many men was the only one. It was the only song that stuck out immediately. Jackson State, many men, it goes hand in hand. That's the theme song for this season. All right, now we got Grambling State with Devils by Lil Boosie. It's the reason why I chose this, not because of the Louisiana connection, even though that was a part of it, right? I chose Devils because the devil really got to get up off, y'all. I mean, my God, Grambling. There were so many points during last season to where you had promising wins. You even almost upset FAMU. Um, and then you had losses to... It had made you think, like, what is it with this team? Like, y'all were so up and down with play, especially in the middle of the season. It was like that devil was just on you, and you couldn't really prosper the way you wanted to. So as the hook goes in this song, devil get up off me. I pray the devil get up off y'all this season so that y'all can return to what Grambling used to be. FAMU is up next. And for FAMU, I chose Free Smoke by Drake. And this is 
This goes without saying. Listen, man, FAMU is giving smoke to anybody who wants it. I almost started to choose Humble by Kendrick Lamar, but I was like, nah, nah, this ain't this ain't that kind of show today. So listen, man, free smoke, it just fits a lot more because like I said, they want the smoke. FAMU wants the smoke with everyone, especially Jackson State, because they are coming off of a year of recruiting, an uh, offseason of recruiting that was absolutely spectacular. The, the wide receiver room is revamped, okay? They took a couple guys from Jackson State. They they have the best quarterback in the swag. They should feel confident. They should want to smoke with everybody. That's why they on all these social media sites talking like how they is. I get it. I'm not mad at it. Okay, free smoke. It's free smoke for everybody because they feel like this is their year, and I understand that completely. Next up, we got Morgan State with Glow by Drake and Kanye West. Now, if you hear the song, if you heard the song Glow before, you know the hook goes, watch out for me, I'm about to glow. That is what Morgan State is right now. They have the best defense in HBCU. I mean, if we're being honest, one of the best defenses in HBCU, led by that amazing secondary that nobody is going to touch, if we're being completely honest with you. Yes, they lose Alfonso Graham. Yes, we need to know where their quarterback is going to be, but they are going to glow. Morgan State is no longer the 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 laughing stock of the MEAC. They are not a push through anymore. They have glowed up. You need you need to respect Morgan State when you see them on the field, or they will beat you on any given Saturday. This ain't they they not at the bottom of the barrel no more. They demand their respect. They've glowed up. And last but not least, Southern University, Mr. Morale by Kendrick Lamar. No particular reason why I chose the song. I just thought about Southern and the fact that through, throughout everything last season, they still got to the SWAT championship. They still got to the SWAT championship and they lost. So when you hear Mr. Morale by Kendrick Lamar, the in the first opening seconds of the song, he references a, a Vine video that says, it was one of the worst performances I've seen in my life. I couldn't sleep at night because I felt this, you know what, expletive. All right, the very last game for Southern the last season, it was a very bad performance, one of the worst performances. But after after that said, in the beginning few seconds of the song, the beat picks up, right? It gives you this, this feeling of we're working, we're getting better, we're coming for vengeance. Throughout the song, when the bass kicks in, everything about that song makes you feel like, okay, we're better now, we're working, we're gonna get better, we're gonna come back better than ever. When it comes to Southern, being that they were so close to almost getting to Atlanta last year, I know that they feel like they can get over the hump now because a lot of people feel like they can get over the hump um, if, if a certain somebody's in the way now that a certain somebody is gone. So I know Southern feels like they are going to get blood. They are out for blood this season. And let's be real, ladies and gentlemen, this has been part one of theme songs for HBCUs for this upcoming football season. Like I said, your opinions are gonna differ. I expect them to differ. Be respectful. That's all I that's all I ask, okay? Um, with that being said, y'all are watching the Blitz City Podcast. If you like this video, please don't forget to like it, okay? Share it so that other people may enjoy this content as well. Do not forget to subscribe, please, because that really helps me out. And uh, let me know what y'all think about this video down in the comment section. Depending on how y'all how y'all respond to this video, I will definitely continue with the part two and part three and however long it takes me to get all the HBCUs out the way. But man, I'm out. Y'all have a safe one. I'll see y'all next time.